Hello guys and welcome to Tactical Gear Review channel. Today we have the Loa boots, the Loa Tactical boots, which are the Loa Z6S Gore-Tex um, boots, tactical boots in cut color. Really nice boots, uh, really uh, used in, I think, on the most of the world, the special forces, the task forces use, are using the Loa um, boots. They have a couple of models, as I said before, this is the Z6 uh, S model in cut color, the mid. Now, uh, before we start the review, I want to say that the Gore-Tex variant of the boots are for mid-season and a light winter, but not for summer. Because if you have, in, your, in like in Israel, we have a really, really hot summer. If you have Gore-Tex in your boots, um, you will sweat a lot. Uh, you, have you will have blisters. Um, so this is not very nice. Actually, I've got this from my duty. So they do have Gore-Tex, but I will also purchase um, uh, the Loba without the Gore-Tex. And also I will, would recommend the Zephyr one, not the uh, Z6S boots for the summer. So now let's start the review for these tactical boots. So here's our Loa Z6S boot. As you can see, I have the 46 uh, size, the 12 size in the US measurement. ZCX Gore-Tex Coyote color. Now as, now, as you can see here at the top, we have a mesh and really nice cushioning to support your ankle. Nice Cordura fabric. It should be more ventilated than the leather. Uh, but it's still not enough for uh, summer yet as you can see the tongue the tongue is very high so it like saying this boot is for mid-season and uh, winter so water and mud won't go inside as you can see really high tongue also the tongue made from the cordura fabric which should be more ventilated than leather lower tactical as you can see now at the side of the boot as you can see here very small holes and here they're made to to make the boot more ventilated however as i said and i'm saying again still not enough for summer you'll be sweating in um, this boot if you live in a hot country like israel or in some africa countries um, now, the, the midsole of the boot here, the shape, is already known by, by the most tactical people, the task forces. If you see this shape, you immediately know this is lower uh, boots. Really nice, uh, th this uh, shape is really nice for rocky terrain. Your boot will um, stay long, last long. Um, the leather here is also good, 2mm leather, um, high quality, however, if you wear only uh, leather here without this protection here, uh, in the rocky terrain, it will uh, tear apart very quickly. The midsole, really comfortable, uh, I wore these boots as you can see, uh, to test them out. The sole itself, as you can see, pretty nice sole. Uh, they have an arch here, which uh, great for rope climbing and sliding. Um, you have cuts here and cuts here to provide a better uh, going on downhill and uphill, so you won't slip. Now, uh, I can tell you that if you have mud after rain, the the sole not doesn't work that well, but still better than the most uh, soles on the market. 
the laces you have a five fast lacing here as you can see really nice heavy metal uh closed hooks which are great because they are closed and nothing will stick here in your duty also as you can see you have the v cut here um, so that the ankle will um, be able to bend easily however here in the back i compare this for to the first tactical boots you don't have any cut here or fabric or door fabric or mesh fabric so be going uphill really really tight for your ankle you will have to um to power your muscle uh, and do, it will take time to break um, this boot i would prefer to have here some nice cut for your ankle which you have in some belleville or first tactical boots um, here at the front and back you have really really tight rubber so it will protect your fingers uh, in the rocky terrain or if you want to kick someone uh, it will be uh, <laughs> really hurting for him as you can see nice stitching and reinforced uh, leather here and that's it guys really not really in conclusion v v really nice um, boots the low I have actually uh, a lot of models which were tested by the task forces by special forces this bo boot is great for uh, mid-season and winter and i will i think i will make soon re review uh, for the lowest fear uh, boots which are great for summer without the gore-tex so one of the most uh, important things for the boot is the weight so here we have our weight and we put the boot here and as you can see um 0 0.8 kilograms 100 grams a pretty nice weight for such boot with gore-tex however the summer boots that i have or belleville boots are 20 grams lighter but for a gore-tex and, and mid uh season boot it's a really nice weight if you like these boots please push the like button comment below and subscribe to my channel and of course the link to the product will be in the description to the video